Hi, my name is Tate Linden, Chief Creator at Stoke Fire. Welcome to our inaugural video markup. A little bit of background, we named our organization Stoke Fire back in 2004. At the time, we didn't have a graphic design department, so we had our web designer handle it. Uh, they developed this logo. You can see the flame here, and uh, there's a bit of growth represented in the flame from, from the spark to the flame. Uh, parallels what our work does for our clients, enabling them to grow. So we ended up with a respectable logo, uh, but we didn't understand when we asked for it, what it was that we wanted the logo to do for us. Uh, and it took us a couple years to get there, but we realized what we needed was a logo that would represent us well in a Fortune 500 boardroom showing the professionalism, the process, uh, as well as on the back of, say, a, a Hell's Angels jacket, uh, showing the, a bit of the edge and risk-taking uh, that we bring to the table. Our clients helped us understand that we nailed the boardroom, but that we'd missed the edge. Our flame linked us more to the conservative gas and power companies than to the creative and edgy strategists they believed us to be. Fast forward to 2007. We selected Compass 360 out of Toronto to help us get where we needed to go graphically after talking with dozens of firms. Carl Thompson was our project lead, and he took great care of us. To be fair, we didn't figure out the boardroom versus biker metaphor until after we were well into the project. So while the text treatment was okay, the early round graphics were either a bit too gimmicky, corporate, or cartoonish to work for us. Later rounds brought more distinctiveness and edge and even character, but they lost the iconic sense that we'd seen earlier. And then they delivered this. We knew they were onto something when we asked what color it was and they told us it was Pantone Warm Red, a nice parallel. But there were other strong benefits too. Among them, well, we've got a sense of growth with three levels here. There's a sense of symmetry and balance. And there's this sense of upward movement, but not just upward movement. There's also a sense of searching, of looking in different directions, finding possibilities. And there's more. There's some Easter eggs hidden in here that we're not using today, but could at another time. There's a hidden S and F. But my favorite Easter egg is this. We can turn him into a little dude. We have the personification of Stoke Fire. And here's the final logo. Font choice was a modified DIN developed in 1928 by C.W. Pishner called DIN Neuzeit Grotesque. This font is known for wide lettering, uh, specifically on the Q, P, B, and O. During the refinement process, they loosened the current a bit so that the O had room to breathe. The use of sans serif lends a bit more corporate weight to an otherwise pretty edgy logo. Though it's subtle, the complete presentation of the logo with text gives us a strong stable shape, a triangle. Triangles represent change, and change is what we're all about. We use pyramids in many of our processes and philosophies, so it's doubly effective for us. But we had this challenge, does it work in the boardroom and on the jacket? In our opinion, they nailed it. So kudos to the team over at Compass 360. They did a great job. And that's how the Stoke Fire logo was born. Tune in next time to learn about one of Stoke Fire's own projects. Hope you've enjoyed this first video markup, and if you did, let us know. Till next time. And last, many thanks to Lena Blackstock for making this all come together.